Hello everyone, I am Duke James and this is the continuation of my Genoa campaign in EU4 Mew and Texas. So I'm going to fight Theodoro. It's been like a year maybe? Uh, I took money from the burgers and I built some ships. Because I built a ship right, so I had some extra navy space, cap space. So that's going to be coming up. I'm thinking about attacking Theodoro. They're a vassal of the White Horde. So I have that treaty with the White Horde, but I think if I attack their vassal, I can get around it. So I'll try and grab this province. Because it does have the Black River Estuary. I kind of made everybody mad over here. So I have to be careful with what I take, but this province is only for development, so I'm thinking it should be fine. Let's do this. Take both of these provinces. Let's leave those there. Three there. The other guy's there. Should be a stable government? How about no? Unstable government's the best government. Stable government. Hopefully they don't come through Crimea, because then they could grab this province. Let's stick the siege leader on that siege. I don't have access through Crimea, so... an interesting way to get around that uh, treaty, just attack their vassal. Looks like they have problems with rebels, so I don't expect much from them. Now they're vassals. They do have a couple of vassals and they're not rebellious. There's a noble plot. Oh, come on. I don't have that much stability to begin with. No stability. No stability loss. Yay. Got out of that. And there is a plague somewhere. Over here, but it looks like it's passed. Damn, that's everywhere now. That spawned over here somewhere. Oh, no, it spawned in Vilki Novgorod. It's a terrible plague up there. I should be fine though, because that's a lot of provinces to go through. I will take those provinces. Need at least 10 war score and need to occupy it because it has a fort there. Good news is once they take this province, they should probably accept because that's only 4 off. Hopefully I can get to... I should be able to get to 10 if I take this province. So this will be a quick war. That's what I like. Quick wars. So I was... Uh, I should probably mention this. I was going to fight Naples, but... I can't get a CB on Naples themselves. I have an Anise. If I attack Nice, they're part of the Empire, so Bohemia would join. So I'm not going to do that. The thing is, Provence is a member of the Empire as well, so... I don't want to fight Bohemia. Bohemia and their vassal spam. Vassal swarm. 
So I have to wait, I don't know, till somebody other than Bohemia becomes the Emperor, or Bo the Emperor won't join, or I get a CB on Naples. So that'll be in the future. Made Constantinople a state. So that's the, um, the, uh, what is this? Autonomy is decreasing. Slowly, but it's going down. Should speed up. Separatism is 0.24. So as that ticks down, this will tick down as well. There is a capital here. So it should help. Should help with some of these provinces. I have to build level one trade wharfs like Gallipoli. They're originating in Liguria. Because there's no port there and there's no land connection. So I'm going to have to build a lot of ports this campaign. A port in every province. They would accept this. Give me war reps? No. That's fine. No war reps, just give me however many ducats. Sixteen ducats? That's fine. That leaves in the Black Sea. There's still a lot of provinces in the Black Sea, actually. I'm a little bit scared of Crimea. They're really powerful, but they shouldn't be. What is going on over here? Hungary is occupying everybody. They're fighting Serbia and Wallachia. I guess it's better Hungary takes that territory versus potentially the Ottomans, who are still in their war. They're actually now winning. Oh, because it's a... Um, well, that sucks. Since it's the uh, Sultanate of Rum, it's a show superiority, and they have enough war score from battle, so that's what they're getting. So they'll probably they'll probably come out with a piece of territory, even though they're not occupying anything. Potentially. They can't take anything with a fort level. So maybe just this province? But then they probably don't have any war score against Bulgaria. So we'll see. They'll probably just peace out. White peace. One of the trade ships are built. You can protect trade. Tyrrhenian. I'm going to need a lot of trade ships to protect trade. Because like in my Castile campaign, I had like 60 trade ships protecting trade in this area because I didn't have that many provinces that's pretty much the same thing that's gonna have to happen lots of ships hundreds of ships so my uh, ideas are going to be uh, like merchant marines probably naval at some point I mean, I'll have to go naval in order to do colonization. I don't know if I'll keep it then. I might get it later on. Let's see. If Bulgaria wouldn't join... Okay, so as soon as Bulgaria doesn't join the war against 
when if I attack Varna, then I'll jump on, or if I attack, I'll attack Dobrigia if Bulgaria doesn't join, which they shouldn't. Eventually, they're about three negative three off. They're not allied with anybody else, so it looks like they only have those four thousand men. And then I should be able to take. There's two trade provinces that they have: Varna and Tulsea. And there are a total of 10 development between the two of them. So I'm hoping I can take those two without making everybody else mad. Hungary took like a ton of provinces, actually. As long as they leave the trade provinces alone on the, on the uh, seas, that's fine. Take everything, Hungary. I'll keep the Ottomans off your back. You can conquer it all. The good thing is the Ottomans are just wasting their time attacking these guys over here, and they're not actually... They're not killing the, um... Balix. When they really should be. Maybe that'll leave enough time for one of these guys to, uh... Well, hopefully not them, Kandar, since I want to take Sinop from them. Maybe one of these guys can, like, conquer the rest. And be a bulwark against the Ottomans. Maybe. Probably not, but... Maybe. Protect trade... Now these guys are allied with Armenia. Trebizond and Armenia. Tunis. I'm going to use France to attack Aragon. And then France can occupy their entire country. And then I'll take Barcelona, Tarragona, Mallorca, and then potentially... The Sicilian provinces? There's like three provinces in Sicily. Palermo has a lot of development, so that'll probably be the last one I take. I can take these two. If I can get all those provinces in one war, that'd be great, but I... If I can at least take all those five provinces without Palermo, that'd be also good. Let's go ahead and reduce maintenance. I'm over my force limits. Yeah, that happens a lot. I figure it's better to keep it that way. Be a little bit over my fort maintenance if I'm going to be constantly going to war. And then I can avoid building more mercs just by paying like a ducat a year. A ducat a month, which is 12 ducats a year. If I go to war once a year, then I'd save money by not constantly rebuilding. Let's get all these ships together. Tunis is fighting Al Jazeera. Hopefully they don't take this province. They're allied with the Mamluks, so I can't get to them yet. They're probably going to end up taking that province. Renata has Queda. 
I can't get to Granada yet. See. Hmm. All right, I could attack Dobrogia. Bump up maintenance. Probably just wipe out their army. Although I'm not sure if the Ottomans would let me over there. Probably not. Take Varna. Bulgaria doesn't join. They're going to siege down Constantinople. Good luck with that, with your 4,000 troops. You're all gonna die. Are they gonna come over here? Pretty sure I can siege them down quicker than they can siege down this province. Considering they have a fort level one. It's already twenty four percent. Do a claim on Mallorca. I have nine favors with France. So that might be next, my next war. So they're out of the war now. Looks like it was just a white piece. Come on, land. Send these guys to siege. Can I even take these provinces without a massive coalition? Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Plus ducats, war reps. Perfect. Land technology research useless. No, it's not. See, this is Provincial Trade Power Modifier, Trade Range, 50 dip, 543 ducats.
They have one troop that's doing nothing. I have a diplomat that's doing nothing. I think once I get these uh, trade ships, I should be good to attack Venice. Because I think my army, my navy, should be better than theirs. They have one more transport, two more galleys, three less lights. Probably want a little bit more of a of an advantage than that. Alright, so Bulgaria is right on the border, 50. It's fine. And your rivalry, give me some more prestige. Force religion, sure, why not? Make them Catholic. That's two more trade provinces in my empire. Crimea is fighting Lithuania, and they're losing. How many men do they have? 22,000 men. So, in other words, a lot. Probably won't move against them yet. I only want one province. Actually, I want two provinces because they conquered that one. If I get a claim, they might give it to me. Might as well try. Hey, ten favors. Aragon is allied with Albania and Flanders. The only potential problem is that France attacks Flanders and doesn't attack Aragon. For some reason, Aragon always has few troops, so... If I don't have to deal with Castile and it's just Aragon, should be fine. Where's Aragon? They have 4,000 men. France has 6,000 troops plus all their 30,000 vassals, so they should be able to take a lot of territory from Aragon, and then I can take Mallorca, deal with Sicily. Yep, so that'll be probably in the next part. So I'll end this part here, pick it up in the next part, and uh, see you then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.